Hello everybody and welcome back to the farm. In the previous vlog I was very busy with the harvest but we did manage to get everything finished off and I was just on my way to the, the grain merchant when we came across the neighbouring farm's tractor on its side. Now I actually spent about three hours helping to tidy it up and by the time I had finished tidying up uh, the grain merchant had closed so we still have all of our grain from the previous vlog in the trailer. So first things first, we're going to head off, we're going to go and sell this, and hopefully we're going to get quite a bit of money. Um, you, you might be looking at the bank account as well, thinking, hmm, you've, you've certainly got a lot of money. Yeah, I've just been paid for the beehives, the, um, the greenhouse area. £35,000 we made from that. Uh, it has a new owner. So we no longer own that, and we're just going to have to focus now on the other pieces of land that we do have. Primarily, the grassland where we have the uh, well, where we had the uh, archaeological slurry pits dig. Just going to turn around here. Now, I did have uh, the baler lady in last night. She was doing the baling in the two fields, the big one around the back and the smaller one. I don't know how many bales we've actually made there, but it did cost me two hundred pounds to have that done, which I think is actually a very fair price. Very good indeed. Because it means we don't have to rent machinery. We don't have to spend our own time on it. It's a pretty good deal. So I think from now on all large scale baling will be done by a contractor. But we'll still do smaller areas. Which might be a good opportunity to actually change the baler which we have for a conventional one. Because we could keep the conventional bales uh, for just feeding to the sheep easily. And then the big bales we can just get the contractor in and then we can uh, probably sell most of them, we'll keep some but it is easier just to go and pick up a small bale so here we are, this is the grain merchant yeah the tractor actually did suffer quite a bit of damage the one that got flipped over but the driver is fine just a bit shocked that's the thing I suppose, you've got to be fast at harvest time but also careful at the same time right so we'll get it tipped and hopefully we'll make quite a bit of money. And we do still have another full trailer over at the chicken farm, which we're going to be keeping as chicken feed. I do want to increase the capacity of our chicken farm. Uh, so that's uh, £12,824. Pretty good. Not bad at all. So we do now have the money to start building the cow farm. And as I said, we're going to be getting the plan submitted to the council so that we can get permission to do that. I'm hoping late autumn, early winter, we can start to construct the cow farm. Right, so let's go and take a look at our bales to see how many we've got. Roughly, I'm not going to count them. Although we probably will be able to count the ones in the smaller field. I know the straw there was already rotting away, it wasn't great. But it might as well have been bailed instead of just leaving it to totally rot away. Another job we have to do today is to get our tractors ready for the show. The show is happening in the next vlog. It's actually in just a couple of days' time. But since there's only one vlog a week, it'll be, it'll be next week. Right, so here we are at the chickens. Let's just take a look in here very quickly. See how many bells we've got. We have got, ah, one. Well, I suppose it, there might have been almost two, and the rest of it will be carried over in the baler to the other field, if this field was done first. Well, it's, it's better than zero. We have a bale. Nice. <laughs> right, so, as I said, I would love to not only get some more chickens, but also tidy the place up a bit. Need to mow down this grass. I don't know what machines to do with. Let's have a good think. But yeah, looking okay. So I think we should probably start clearing those bales. What do we have here? Uh, quite a few. That's pretty good because these are big Heston bales. Oh yeah, not bad. So I do need to tidy those up. We'll use the JCB. And I do need to find a good place to keep them. I think we'll keep them here. So I'll move these implements into the shed. Uh, probably these sheds here. 
and we'll get the place tidied up. So that is job number one of today. I think we'll use this relic. Seems like a good little yard shunter. But yeah, we'll get the bells cleared very quickly. There's always the debate, do we sell them, do we keep them? Thing is, because we are going to be having cows uh, this side of the winter time, it would be wise to keep them. We do need the straw for bedding and for feed. Well, it's not necessarily required for feed, but it's good to pad it out. It's cheaper that way. Anyway, I'll crack on, we'll get those bells done, and then we'll move on. Right, so instead of uh, bringing the JCB back before finishing this field, I thought it'd be wise to get these stacked. So that's why we're here. Uh, but I'm just going to take these over to the biogas plant very quickly. And I'll come back and I'll pick the rest up, probably uh, off camera. And then we'll have this whole field cleared. I've already got plenty of bells, so we don't need to keep any of these. Make some money from them. And then we'll finish off in the uh, the wheat field, picking up the straw bales. So let's head off and let's go make some money. Although we won't be paid until midnight. I could have stacked three high, but in the end I just decided to go two side by side and then one on top. It is still three high, but it's not quite as unstable. And I'm wondering if maybe I should have bought the yard at the end of here. I think it's still for sale. It probably would have been good, uh, but if I was to buy it now I'm not too sure if I'd have the money to then build the cow farm. And we could build our own storage shed, but it is pretty nice, the sort of Dutch barn at the end of here. It looks good. Maybe because it isn't selling very quickly I could put in a bit of a cheeky offer for that place there. I don't know. Can't remember what I said it was now. It wasn't that expensive. But I think it was, well, maybe it was expensive for what it was. Because it's such a tiny piece of land. Yeah, there's Dennis somewhere. That's his care home. Yeah, not spoken to Dennis for a while. Bad junction. Very hard to see anything coming around the corner. Right, so the BGA, our biogas plant, is just up here. We've been before. So it's not new to us. Here it is. And I'm still trying to figure out why that 135 has appeared in front of the house. I've done nothing with it. I was just waiting to see if anybody said anything. And I've had nothing. No letters. No emails. It's weird. It really is strange. I'm starting to think it's just from a viewer. Because it went extremely high in the first place on bidding. And 
it, it just didn't seem worth it. So it's like somebody bought it, fixed it up and gave it back, which is very generous. I really don't know. But maybe they didn't fix it up. We, we don't actually know if it works. I didn't touch it. <laughs> anyway, let's get this processed. I think we'll leave it to them. They'll take the bells off for us. And then we can head back for another load. Done. So that took, what was it, about an hour to get those taken off. Not too bad. As I said, we're going to get back to the field. I'll clear the rest of the field just off camera. And then we'll head over to the wheat field and clear the straw bales. But those won't be sold. We are fully loaded. As you can see, the field is empty. So I think really the top section of the field is just going to be used as feed, keep it as grass. The lower section will be turned into the cow farm, but maybe a brand new large farmyard, maybe even the main farmyard to replace the current one. I don't know. Um, lots of different possibilities that we could do here. Lots of potential, providing we get permission. But anyway, yeah, let's just go and take these. Not got too many. There are quite a few straw bales. I've just looked again because I've just taken the JCB back. And uh, yeah, it's going to be a bit of a job moving them. But it doesn't have to be done all in one go. I'm not too worried about moving them all today. In fact, I prefer to move some and then cultivate the small field. And then get the trailer set up for taking the tractors to the show. The only problem with that is the trailer is full of bales. So that's going to have to be emptied as well. So here we are once again, just have to wait for them to remove the bales for us. Done. So as I said, we'll be paid at midnight, so that's more income, to go towards the fairly expensive business venture, because uh, even buying the cows, just the cows alone, it's going to be quite expensive. Can't believe how quickly the day is passing ridiculous. Actually I think I might do a bit of cultivating first and then we'll unload the other trailer and then put some straw bales onto this trailer. I just want to make sure we've got everything done which needs to be done. A few things I wanted to cover in this vlog uh, and we might even be able to put these, the hay bales up there, I'm not too sure. Right so yeah we'll get this tractor attached to our cultivator and we'll very quickly cultivate the small field. Just pull those hoses out. Uh, yeah, I just can't believe how many bales we've got. They are big bales. So yeah, the cultivator is just down here. The other good thing about having the cows is eventually we'll be able to spread slurry and manure. Free manure. I think in the past I might have attempted to use this on the 390T, but yeah, it's probably not a good idea. Not when we have the horsepower available. And that class baler over there, we may well sell. Just wondering if we can actually fit through here. I did cut some of the lower trees down, so it shouldn't be an issue. Yeah, okay. So if we can get this cultivated, that'd be great. Obviously not a big job, just a small area. I would also like to cultivate the field next to the chicken farm, but we do have one bale to move. Just a bit of surface tickling. And next year we'll certainly put some potatoes back in the ground, next to the house. My own food. I live off potatoes. So does Dennis. Actually, no, doesn't Dennis live off peas? I seem to remember he lives off peas. I hope the care home are stocking plenty of frozen peas. Yeah, it's quite a big thing, this. Something else which might have been quite tricky to run, actually, this cultivator, if I had downsized the tractors. So we'll get this done and then I think we'll jump back into the JCB, move the bale which shouldn't be in the uh, other field and then go and cultivate that as well. 
then we'll unload the trailer and hopefully put our vintage tractors onto that trailer. I'm not too sure if three are going to fit. It is quite a job, I think, fitting three tractors on one trailer, but I'm happy to give it a go. That's well, been good. I've been having a good think about the best thing to do with the bales, and really with the straw bales, they don't want to be at this farm anyway. So there's no point clearing space for them. I'm just going to take them straight to the cow farm once it's built. They'll have to stay on the trailer for now. Um, but yeah, the trailer which is currently full, the transport trailer, that can be emptied into the bay where we cleared earlier, so that I can then load up my vintage tractors. And for the first time since it's been repainted. My other old vintage tractor is going to have to come out of the container. It's currently in a shipping container uh, to be put onto the trailer. So it'll be interesting to see it with its new paintwork in the daylight. I've only ever seen it in a container where it's pretty shady. So we're going to drop off the cultivator. It will be needed though in this field here. but not today because some fields will be drilled next spring uh, this this was a wheat crop so it's probably going to be yeah it'll probably be oilseed rape so actually that'll be done this year but it doesn't have to be I, I could do corn might do corn which will be next spring I haven't put too much thought into the crop types yet Okay, right, so let's get that trailer pulled out of the shed. It's a big trailer. Stacked three high. Quite crazy. Sort of gives you the impression that it's going to be big enough for three vintage tractors. And we'll put it just around the corner. We probably are going to lose the first three. Just a strange way of stacking. So they'll go into there. Don't know how well they're going to fit, but that is, I can't get over how fully loaded that thing looks. Overloaded. And the final three. I feel I've done a lot of bail work today. I uh, don't want to finish it off by knocking a load over. 
Right, so they're going to have to just go in front. We'll use these ones first, as they will probably get rained on a bit. They're likely not going to be totally covered. So, yeah, just put them in there. And we're done. So now we can put our tractors onto the trailer. It's not a bad stack. Yeah, um, will three fit? They're not going to fit side by side. I think maybe two... Well, first things first, the freshly repainted one. Just look at this. It's beautiful. And it still runs well too. Look at the lovely fresh paintwork. So that can go to the front, and then we'll get the Massey Ferguson, and then Dennis's one can hold onto the back. <laughs> or maybe we could actually take two trailers, I don't know. I just don't think they're going to all fit. Okay, so that is as far forward as it will go. So clean! Um, yes, yeah, one more. The 135. That would be my priority, although Dennis's one is still very interesting. I, I do like it in its own way. And I do want to take all three. Oh, what's that? A text message from unknown. Well, doesn't that sound boring? Probably a scam. Let's put this onto here, then we'll read it. If it's worth reading. Right, I still want to hit my new paintwork. That should do. Yep, yeah, that's fine. Looking good. Right, let's read that text from unknown. Go to your house now. That sounds ominous. Yeah, definitely some kind of scam. Don't know how they get you with it though. That's weird. Well, I was going back here anyway. I'm starving. Not eating for ages. There's Dogwin. Um. Why are you out of prison? Hello, Dagwin. What do you think of the tractor I bought you then? 